She's about to join our top 15 finalists, Florida. I was part of a huge hurricane relief effort in Puerto Rico. That experience was just so devastating. I had so many people that I love and I care for that I couldn't reach. I think that's something that was very profound in my life when it happened because I've never experienced something like that. And being in that chaos that was happening the first two weeks just really showed me how engaged I was to making things happen for the relief effort. I would run logistics, I was at the warehouse. I did a lot of things to make sure that people got what they needed and that's where I found like, wow, this is something that I really love to do. Florida. We just picked seven finalists, but there are still 44 contestants waiting for their names to be called. Which eight women will get them? Florida. Not only beautiful, but can walk like a gazelle. She can turn her figure, her face, everything about her is a total package. Six women are waiting to hear their names, but only one of them will be moving forward. Earning the last spot in the top 10 is... Florida! Florida! Congratulations, Florida! All right, Florida made a last minute change. It might not have been a great idea. This is giving her a little bit of difficulty walking. It's a lot of dress. It's stunning, but you still have to be able to walk confidently down the runway. It ain't my style, I don't care. Joining her in the finals is... Florida! Florida, please come forward. Your question tonight comes from North Carolina. Hello. Sexual assault is an issue at universities across the United States. What do you believe can be done to better protect women on college campuses? I believe um, in college campuses should have different groups and activities where women can self-defend themselves. And that would be an uh, opportunity for them to be able to make it better. Yes. Okay, thank you, Florida.